Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another 2015 MacBook performance test. Now, uh, this is the first time I've used Final Cut Pro 10 on this MacBook. This is the 2015 MacBook. It's the uh, the base model, the one with 8 gigs of memory and and uh, 256 uh, gigs of flash storage. Uh, but what I've got here, I've I've imported a uh, a 4K Ultra HD video clip that I filmed with the Panasonic Lumix GH4 camera. So it's a 4K video clip and it's it's 30 seconds in duration. But I wanted to show you a few things. First of all, you can see that this plays back within Final Cut Pro 10. And we're watching it right now. It hasn't stuttered it at all. And this is a 4K video clip. So that if you're not familiar with 4K, that's four times the physical size of a of a full HD uh, 1920 by 1080 video that that most of us are more familiar with so you can see it hasn't stuttered uh, looking at this video within uh, within Final Cut Pro on the on the 2015 MacBook with Retina it looks very nice what the real test is going to be is how fast is this export so we're going to do send a compressor We're going to do add output, and I'm going to use the setting that I always use for all my 4K videos. It's video sharing services 4K, so I'm going to select that, and now I'm going to do start batch. And you can see here we've got a timer that's going to show us how long this is taking. Again, this is a 30 second 4K video clip that I'm exporting from Final Cut Pro 10 on the uh, 2015 MacBook. So this will give us a good... Uh, a good guess as to how long larger clips may take because again this is only 30 second clip. Now obviously this computer is not going to be as fast as a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro or definitely not as fast as a desktop iMac or a desktop uh, Mac Pro. This is a computer that you would get if A you're not a hardcore video editor. In my case I pump out a few videos per day uh, so this is a secondary computer. My primary is iMac with Retina 5K display. It's a real workhorse and it can really pump out uh, videos with, without an issue. Uh, this, one is, uh, this one is for portability and the convenience of being able to recharge and field by way of USB. Okay, we're up at one minute and three seconds so far. Um, and then also, you know, recharge by way of USB solar panels. It provides a lot of portability, smaller size, less weight. If you're traveling with a lot of camera equipment like I do and drones, um, being able to keep the uh, the bulk and the weight down is significant, especially when you're doing air travel because, you know, you, you get over a certain weight, then you're going to have to pay more for the bags probably. And and it's just, uh, you know, you've got, you've got to look at this computer from that perspective. Or if you're just a casual computer user, you know, you like to check your email, browse the web, you know, download a few photos, do some casual video edits, then this could easily be a primary computer for you. It's got a great display. It's got the, you know, the Retina display. It's plenty large and uh, just a really good, really good computer in my opinion. Okay, so we're at a minute and 57 seconds. Minute 59. It's looking like it's getting ready to finish here. And again, this is a 30 second clip in 4K that it's exporting. So a little bit over two minutes and fifteen seconds, which really is not bad, you know, especially if you're doing field edits. And keep in mind, I'm recording this by way of the ScreenFlow application, so that was taking up some system resources. So in real world, it could be a little bit faster if you were not running other applications concurrently. So let's do a uh, let's look at this file that it exported. Yep, something is... Okay, there we go. Okay, so I was going to do a control click, get info. I want to show you a few things here. I was hoping this would say 4K. I mean, obviously I exported it in 4K because you saw that. 
but I was hoping it would save the resolution right here. So let's go ahead and play it back. You can see the playback of 4K video in the 2015 MacBook. It's not stuttering at all. And I do have it full screen. Um, so you can see that it's, uh, you know, it's not having any, it's not having any problems playing back whatsoever. So this is that 30 second 4K video clip that I just exported. Let's try that again. Maybe it just took a while to put the video. Because normally it'll show when you do properties or get info. There it is right there. It just took a while to populate. So you'll see that this is 3840 by 2160. So that's 4K. That's four times the physical size of a full HD, which is 1920 by 1080. And that's a 74.6 meg file. So 30 second video clip edited in Final Cut Pro 10 on 2015 MacBook and then exported by way of compressor with 4K video sharing services setting. So I was quite impressed. I mean, again, don't expect the 2015 MacBook to be your primary video editing computer if you're a hardcore video editor. But if you want something for simple field edits, including 4K video like I just demonstrated, it will do it, as you just saw here. So hope this video helped. Check the link within this video's description. You can find the, uh, uh, the MacBook 2015 that I'm using. It comes in three colors. I've also added solar panels there a variety of USB-C to USB 3.0 cables, and a lot of other stuff. So check it out, and feel free to share with others, and drop me a line if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.